Hey everybody and welcome back. So this is like coming up now to the end of the uh, campaign, end of the single player story. Well, the main story anyway. And uh, yeah, so in the last one we attacked the oil field. That was a pretty long uh, mission. And the next few are going to be strung together, I believe, if memory serves. So yeah, let's get into that. If you guys can leave a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button, that would be great. And very much appreciated. So, let's do this. Don't ride that in here, Arthur. Fuck off. Not like it matters. Not anymore. Alright, let's go see Dutch. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning, we take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. And I'm a goddamn train. Arthur! <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go! Oh yeah. yeah, Dutch is definitely losing his mind. Well, lost his mind. Patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of Saint Denis. I'll go with them. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. 
way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah, I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. So, not looking too good then. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Why do we need dynamite again? Did I miss something in the plan? No point in putting this off any longer. So listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Beaver what? Hollow. Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Le Moine. Ah, I do like that horse. Nothing like a good Shire horse. One that basically dwarfs every other horse <laughs> you come across. Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw it. I don't know why I pulled out my gun. <laughs> That's very inconspicuous nice of me. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Maka? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Much further now. Well, this is a very slow trot. The chances of someone recognizing us is going up every second we take. Halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. 
Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? Yep. God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We still going through with this? Of course we are. Yeah, this is all kinds of insanity right now. The plan hasn't even started and it's already gone wrong. Come on! Right, it's a big horse, but it's not really a fast one. There, that's suppose that's the thing of what the price you have to pay for a big horse. Now, what guns did I got? Hey, I got the shotgun. Nice. How did I miss? There you go. How is he alive? <laughs> really? How? Reload first. No oh, fucking. Let's go, Arthur. We ah! push it forward. Come on. Let's get to the next carriage. Shot him in the ass. Hey! Thank <laughs> you. 
you protect that money? Man the gun, Arthur. I'll go stop the train. Stop the train? Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Oh, that's nasty. Watch the rat! Ah! How the hell do I get sailed with you, little lady? Watch your goddamn mouth! The blip! Shoot him again! Watch the rat! If they had any sense, they'd just give up. Will you shoot him for crap's sake? What the hell you think I'm doing? Listen! I don't take orders from you! Okay, get off the go! We need to go for the money! Come on! The money should be in the front carriage! Why not just throw the rest of it on the board? Ah, that's so much money. Jesus. We're alive. Yeah, just about. <coughs> well, let's move. Yeah, that's so much money, and now it's all gone. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha! So John is gone. A moment of silence, if you please. Red Dead Redemption. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. 
You got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows it. So we it. just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Alright. Yeah, I quite really do like now that I'm playing through it, I'm really getting into the mood there. But yeah, I really do like how uh, all now these missions don't fit care together. If the orphans is French child, so long as he gets rich. All this goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Boy went crazy. Yes. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them Life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it? Now come on. Yeah, as far as you know, endings go, this is this, this the build up. Of this is really good, really well done. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Whoa. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get.
Uh, man, eh, screw it. Alright, it's fine. I mean, I would have liked to have kept the uh, Lancaster. But, uh, the repeating shotgun should do fine. And those revolvers are powerhouses. So I don't really need a ranged weapon. Oh god. How high up is this thing? I assume I shoot them. She's not gonna... Fair enough. They're in the lighthouse. God damn bastards. In many ways, this game does that whole uh, kill camera thing better than Sniper Elite does. God, I don't have to <laughs> do that, uh, go climb all the way down there again. for you guys. People, um, I mean, like you know, all, all the articles I've read, I've kind, I've kind of complained about the gunplay in this, but I quite like it. They said, like you know, for a company that, uh, or for, yeah, for like a development company that sort of made Max Payne, the gunplay is a bit clunky in this, but to be fair, they are completely different games, I guess.
Okay, that went pretty well. Most of these guys are dead. And so soon will Agent Moon. dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. I will say this much, Horrible, that's not the haircut I was expecting when I first saw that scene. I always thought he had more of like, sort of like, you know, full on. head of hair. Both of you. get close to like the end the end of this and uh, call it a day holding my own. Right, well, yeah, I better end it here. And in the next part, then, I'll carry on straight from uh, this point. Uh, hope you've all enjoyed the part, and so on, and so forth. Hope you've all enjoyed the commentary. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be grand. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself, and do take care. Ta-da!